Welcome to Practical Python Programming. In this video, we're going to set up our Raspberry Pi to launch Jupyter Notebook every time it reboots. This way, if there's a power outage or you restart your Raspberry Pi for whatever reason, Jupyter Notebook will be set up and ready to go. Requirements for this video are to have your Raspberry Pi set up and installed with Jupyter Notebook. First thing we'll do is I recently reset my Raspberry Pi or rebooted it so we can confirm that right now we have no access to our Jupyter Notebook. We'll go ahead and launch our terminal. And SSH into your Raspberry Pi. First thing we can do is confirm that we have no servers running. So we'll run Jupyter Notebook. And you can call the command list to see I have no servers running. What we're going to do is edit a script file that gets called every time our Raspberry Pi boots. So to look at that, we can do sudo because it is a boot file. We have to have extra privileges. And it will be edited with nano, a built-in editor. And that's at location etc slash rc dot local. So here's an example of a script in here that's already pre-written, that doesn't really do anything. We can comment out this script by adding hashtags in front of each line. What we're going to want to do is change our directory to our home directory for Raspberry Pi, so that way when Jupyter Notebook launches, that is where our starting point will be for our files. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to home slash pi. Then we need to go ahead and launch our Jupyter Notebook. So to do that, I'm going to launch it with sudo tech u pi. This way, we'll launch it with the privileges of our pi instead of root. Now, we'll just type in Jupyter Notebook. And then we can use the option no browser. because we're in a headless mode, we don't want a browser to launch. Last thing we'll do is put an ampersand just to say run it in the background, and we should be good to go. So now if you hit Control X, that'll exit Nano, save changes with a Y, enter to confirm the file name, and then what we can do is go ahead and sudo reboot, and we'll see that we are kicked off of the SSH connection while it reboots. And give it a minute and we'll go ahead and reconnect via SSH. Once it comes up we'll go ahead and log back in and now when we do Jupyter notebook list we should see we have a server running on 8888. So when I try to load it here it now will come up and we are good to go. 